夢だ夢夢だから夢おやすみニラ Monkey. Okay, anyways, I don't know where that came from. I don't know. Maybe too much Dragon Ball. To say that I audibly gasped, you, you probably clicked on it too. Like, what the hell? This is the wrong video. Uh, but just Nina and the Starry Bright. Okay, we're here. Nina, 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 Nina. To say that I audibly gasped at that, at that kiss? Holy crap. I was not expecting that. Three episodes in and... There's one thing that I will tell you straight up. Let me just get let me just get this out of the way. Let me get this thought. Let me get this thought bubble out of the way so I can push it. The age gap. Nina could be 10, 12, or 16. I just don't know. And as the prince could be somewhere in the same ballpark between the ages of 15 and 20. I just don't truly know uh their age. And I guess, you know, like we could always just take to Google. Nina the Starry Bride. Let's see. Nina the Starry Bride. Uh Nina age uh let's see if if google knows okay neither the starry bride recommended for ages blah 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 okay that doesn't answer any of my questions uh nina uh let's see it doesn't say her age uh whatsoever at all actually uh, I'm looking at one of the forums. It doesn't say her age. But anyways, so i'll continue looking it up here in the background but that's one of the questions that i had is you know what's what's the age gap between them and at the end of the day it doesn't truly truly matter you know because it's, it's fiction they're not real characters but that's one of the things is like you know how old is nina exactly um i know that she has her coming of age at age 15 which is kind of where she is officially the sanctus or whatever so i mean it could be assumed that she is you know 14 i guess you could say and then as you know prince as has to be somewhere in the ballpark of like i said he's already had his coming of age so he must be in the ballpark between 15 and 20 something like that uh but nothing exactly says at least these like three different websites that i went to let me go on kadancha's website itself uh, and let's see if that has it because i don't know exactly here but uh regardless you know we can just kind of like surmise that because she has to come up on that so anyways i just want to get stuck on that point for a little bit so here's the thing so nina the story bright i didn't think that the episode was going to have them end with a kiss obviously it was at least to me it was pretty obvious that as was definitely falling um you know he was definitely falling in love with her and he's definitely starting to have really big feelings and his really big feelings are starting to come out because you know, this episode Nina went and uh, she disappeared and he got really nervous and he had to, for the first time, imagine what would it be like if Nina suddenly disappeared and not thinking about disappeared as like what would happen because uh, he lost his sister, not thinking about if he, if she disappeared, like what, what, what would it do to him politically just as a person what would he do if she truly disappeared? And what would he do if the last thing that she that he said to her was being a condescending asshole? And all those things kind of like, you know, they welled up, you know, because when she um, went to go call him out for like, hey, you can't die. You shouldn't be dying, blah, blah, blah. She threw this little bracelet that she made to him, which is just the cutest thing ever. It's so adorable. And he had to come to that realization that she went to go give him something that she made specifically and special for him. So he's dealing with a lot of big feelings and then, you know, he's just freaking out at, you know, potentially where she went. Uh, and I was like, okay, that's some really, really good stuff. And uh, that's some really good writing here. And when he ended up finding her, you know, he didn't really press her about where she was. He didn't really press her about where she's been. He's just like, hey, what do you have to say to me? And obviously she did say she was sorry, but she was also like, I'm still really mad at you because like, if you disappear, like you mean a lot to me. And Nina just like, she just word vomited her feelings and that all really resonated with as and the moment that they shared with each other when they're kind of looking in each other's eyes is like she's not looking at me for what i could be she's not looking at me for what i could become she's not looking at me as the prince she's looking at me as me and i think we can all sympathize you know with somebody who's been put in the shoes of a fake prince or like a a, a duplicate or like somebody who's a stand-in you know, they're living this like fake life to where they kind of have to, you know, become and, and change into something different. We can all think, I think, pretty much sympathize with the fact that 
being looked at for yourself is just a breath of fresh air. And finally, somebody seeing you that way means a lot. So it was really, really cool to see that. And that's why I think it just emotions welled up, up and took over. And he kissed her. And then he tried and closed her eyes a little bit. Like, oh, this was just a dream. You did, you, you saw you saw nothing. And then in her cute moment, she was like, this wasn't a dream. It was just such, a, it was so adorable and such a breath of fresh air and just so cute. And I really, really loved it. And again, I went, <gasps> I like, I audibly gasped. And it, it just took me, it took my breath away. And it was just such a really cute moment. Uh, now, for Nina's side of the story, you know, obviously... She was looking out for Az, and, you know, she has a, a bunch of really growing, uh, you know, big feelings growing for him. And, you know, she kind of took us through her path of, like, oh, I don't love him. It, these are just, like, he's just, you know, somebody who's important to me. Uh, and she's like, oh, I'm going to get married. So she felt depressed, and then they went on their horse riding stuff. And then eventually she, she overheard him, you know, with the conversation that he was having. And she was like, I need to do something. You know, I can't I can't go and talk to the king. The, I know the queen's doing it. She goes and talks to the former king, and he's a hoot. And he obviously, he raised, you know, he raised as before, kind of like his own. And I think initially is one of those things to where he, he raised him also as a stand-in, but also began to have, you know, big feelings and, you know, a familial love for as, as he currently is as well too. And she has a whole thing where she's in a dungeon. She spring cleans the dungeon. She's actually, this is, she's like, this, this, this prison is actually better than what my house was before. So she has a ball of a time and she starts or sparks a relationship with the former king, uh, which we find out that he's been poisoned. And he's dying as well, too. Uh, and he has no power. And that was just such a really cool thing. And then that led up to the Az and Nina kiss. But yeah, this episode, you know, um, I'm finding out right now as I, I was trying to find her age that the author is also the same author that did Ancient Magus Bride, which me and my me and my wife, we absolutely love Ancient Magus Bride. Um, it is, it's awesome. If you never watched it, uh, they did apothecary diaries, which was the best anime of last season. I think it's the best one that I didn't talk about. Apothecary diaries. Awesome. And they also did snow white with the red hair, which is not up to the same snuff up to the same level as the last two, but snow white with the, with the red hair is also a really, really good watch and very similar vibes to this. Uh, and I think that was a really good one too. I, I would give that one about a 7.5 out of 10. Really good. Definitely worth the watch. But I was like, holy shit, they, this is a really renowned uh, manga author. So I thought that was really cool, too. So anyways, uh, Nina the Starry Bright, episode three, absolutely fantastic. And that kiss, chef's kiss, not expected, really, really cute stuff. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comments below. My friends, I'll see you guys next week for episode number four. Peace.